the strange voice of comparison, the strange voice of depression and anxiety and perversion. They've been speaking to you. And God's saying, hey, 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 my sheep know my voice. And a stranger, they will not adhere. They won't listen. They will not submit to. And God's saying, I'm speaking. Somebody say, God speaks. I want you to say it like you mean it. God speaks. And now make it personal. God will speak to me. And so when I went on sabbatical, the main thing that I write down in my journal is, God, I want to hear you. I want to hear you, and God, I will listen. And when I said that um, um, to somebody this week, talking to them through like God still speaks, God told me, he said, Michael, people are deceived. Hearing me, hearing God's voice is normal for the believer. He said, if you don't hear me, who are you hearing? If you're not hearing me, Somebody's speaking to you. Can I prove it to you? Because in John 10, 4 and 5, he said that my sheep follow me. They know my voice. And a stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him. For they know not the voice of a stranger who's ever talking to you. If it ain't God, who is it? And I really begin to think about that because God said I'm still speaking, but culture's speaking too. Finances are speaking too. Your favorite motivational speaker is speaking too, and you've confused their good idea with my voice. And the problem that's happening right now is because it takes a sacrifice to get into the presence of God, a sacrifice to live a life that's holy enough, a sacrifice. So many of y'all would rather take a cheap counterfeit than actually have the authentic voice of God speaking in your life. I'm already doing too much right now, Michael Wusa. But 2021 will not be the year that you will be able to blame God for not speaking to you. 2021 will not be the year that you talk about he's just so far away from me no 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 your ears are closed and you're walking around like la 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 and God says I'm speaking but you can't hear me because you're listening to the stranger's voice we talk about stranger things let me tell you about stranger things stranger things is hearing from people who do not have the heaven's mind for your life stranger things is listening to a friend group that feels like they're more successful than you so maybe I should listen to them they don't know the purpose of God for your life they don't know the plan that God has for your marriage they do not know what God has already ordained for you you better stop listening to the stranger's voice I have small children right now that love answering the door. They love bing bong, they ah! Knock, 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 they love answering the door. But the one thing that I've had to teach my daughters and my son is when somebody's at the door, the first thing they ask is what? Who is it? And the problem is so much stuff has been showing up at the door of your life and you've stopped asking, who is it? You're just opening the door. Some of y'all took the door off the hinge and they can come in and go as they please. But today it's time. Oh, I feel this thing. It's time to put a barrier back up. And when you hear something, you need to ask, who is it? And the only way I know who it is, is if they speak. Their voice authenticates who it is. And very, very easily now my daughter says, who is it? And I say, it's your daddy. She daddy, her reaction. Who is it? It's Charles. Oh, Uncle Charles, who is it? It's Auntie Bree. She knows how to give access to people she's familiar with their voice. But when she says, who is it? And it's a stranger's voice. She doesn't respond audibly. She. (laughs) Daddy. Somebody's at the door and I'm unfamiliar with their voice. 
Daddy, are you expecting somebody? Are you expecting this relationship? Are you expecting this business deal? See, daddy should be talked to either way. It's either him at the door or I'm running to him because the stranger. I didn't, this ain't even my message. But all I'm saying to you today is that God is speaking. And many of us are missing him because we've been, <laughs> we've been conned by the stranger. The strange voice of comparison. The strange voice of depression and anxiety and perversion. They've been speaking to you. And God's saying, hey, 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 hey. My sheep know my voice. And a stranger, they will not adhere. They won't listen. They will not submit to. And God's saying, I'm speaking. Somebody say, God speaks. I want you to say it like you mean it. God speaks. And now make it personal. God will speak to me. I'm declaring that over your life. If you've never, ever thought. So, well, my, my old denomination didn't believe that. Welcome, baby, to the full gospel of Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to know that God will speak to me. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.